Hello, in this video, we will continue with the, our studies on the economic system. We studied the economic systems talking about ownership and control, who owns and controls productive resources in a state. And we established that it can be owned and controlled by private individual, by the state, or both. If it is controlled and owned by the private individual, we call it capitalist. So in our previous lesson, we've when we went through the various features of the capitalist economy. This time we are looking at the advantages and disadvantages of capitalist economy. The first thing we'll talk about is that it's a free enterprise and then capitalism encourages maximum freedom of enterprise. People are not forced into the system. So it's a free enterprise. It's not by force for you to engage yourself in the production process. You do it when you have the capacity. And what type of production you want to do also depends on your own private ability. There is no force by any external authority. In capitalism, people are free to own properties and this encourage hard work. So you can own any property at all that you want. So individuals are forced to work hard towards such attainment. It also boosts specialization when people decide on the production process with time they develop the expertise they develop the experience in that field and they become specialists in that area as a result of individuals controlling the means of production it generally leads to competition so there is a competition in the production of goods and services and then competition also results in efficiency because there are others producing the same thing you are producing so you try your possible best to produce it make it efficient or effective for the consumer. Then the effort of many individuals in the production of goods and services generally leads to the economic development in all sectors of the economy. So since this is also towards production of goods and services, it leads to economic development and then growth. It transforms the economy from one stage to another. Let's look at some of the disadvantages as a result of economic activities of few individual investors, monopoly can easily be created. So monopoly here is talking about when a single producer is responsible for producing a particular goods and no other person can produce. There is no competitor. It's only one person that produces. When it happens like that, they have a greater control over everything. They have the ability to set price, how to produce. They make a monopoly decision. And this decision can affect the producer, uh, the consumer. So it is so because only few individuals will get a chance to enter into this production because it's because of the capital requirement and other related issue. Only few individuals have full control of the means of production, and this can lead to inequality in distribution of wealth. Of course, all individuals cannot do this. The few that are having the opportunity and the capacity to engage themselves in the production process. And when it happens like that, the distribution of wealth, wealth cannot be distributed equally. It is only those that engage themselves in the production process. They are at the better position to receive wealth for that. Then in capitalism, only few individuals are enriched while many remain poor. So the least uh, individuals or the few individuals that engage themselves in the production process, they become rich, they receive the profit and the return for the production, and the rest become poor in that economy. Exploitation of consumers is one of the major problems of capitalism. In fact, this particular system, their idea is to make profit. So they find ways and means to get their profit. They don't really care much what they put the consumers in. The consumers are offered anything at all, which is in favor of the producer and not necessarily in favor of the consumer. So in the capitalist, the one producing the goods is much interested in the various methods and the processes to use that would generate them more income than what the side effect or the satisfaction that the consumer will receive. Then job security, insecurity, 
and unemployment are situations commonly found in capitalist economies. So, there is insecurity in jobs. When private individuals own resources and they employ, it is possible that the least mistake that the employees will engage themselves in, they can be sacked. And then this also, in most economies, does not encourage large manufacturing firms. So the businesses are not too large enough to employ a large number of people. In this uh, case, there is going to be a high level of unemployment. And then people can lose their job at any time. So these are some of the advantages and disadvantages of the capitalist or capitalism or the free market economy. It is the type of economy where resources are owned and controlled by a private individual. They make all the decisions alone. They engage in all the method that they want. And they do everything possible that will generate them the maximum profit that they look out for. The motive and the idea behind this type of economy is profit maximization or to generate profit. Thank you.